What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks MLB Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys three picks which win some money over here on Prize Picks in the MLB today. Already broke this down in the VIP member package in the Discord, so I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a free sneak peek behind the paywall today. If you enjoy that con this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out. And I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all MLB season long. If you haven't checked out Price Picks, you can go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. And if you are any very serious, would highly recommend the premium content packages. Um, once again, I already sent in a bunch of stuff to the Discord. So I'm about to give you a little bit of a sneak peek behind the paywall. But that is li li linked below in the description patreon.com slash kjk underscore dfs you get access to every single one of my tickets as soon as i place them the research tab that we're going to be talking about today in the vip member package and a whole lot more uh over there so let's talk about it we'll go game by game the first game that i would like to discuss is going to be this texas rangers baltimore orioles game because i think the rangers bats are in a great spot and specifically the left-handed bats because grayson rodriguez has been absolutely dreadful versus left handed hitting on the season uh we'll go ahead and break that down for you pull up the discord research tab and kind of talk about why i do like this play quite a bit so texas tonight gets to face grayson rodriguez who outside of his 25.9 percent k rate versus righties and 26.7 percent k rate versus lefties has been less than impressive he has some really really bad numbers as far as grayson rodriguez is concerned a 404 woba given up to left-handed bats he's also giving up a 288 iso to those left-handed bats so i do have a lot of interest in the bats at the top of this texas lineup uh, that have been good all season long. Which bats am I talking about? Well, most notably, Corey Seager and Nathaniel Lowe, the two lefties at the top. These Corey Seager's featuring a 244 ISO with a 402 Woba, 16.1% walk rate as well for Corey. And Lowe, the other lefty at the top of this lineup, features a 200 ISO with a 374 Woba, 20.1% K rate and 9.7% walk rate. So both very, very disciplined hitters. Both have been getting the job done. Uh, both I do certainly have interest in here against Grayson Rodriguez, who we discussed. His numbers against lefties have been really, really, really bad. That 404 Woba, um, that 288 ISO, both of which are obviously not good. That's over a 75 uh, plate appearance sample size. So Rodriguez really been struggling uh, against those lefties as far as the hitting environment here in Baltimore. It does play friendlier down that right field line as well. Baltimore did extend that left field wall out even deeper. Um, in Oriole Park. So now the right side of the field is going to play a lot friendlier to those left-handed bats. So that's another little bonus for these lefties that I do really like here. You can see plays pretty average across the field um, on the right side, which isn't a bad thing. You know, there's no bad hitting spots there on that right field. As far as Cannon Yards are concerned, and that home run uh, metric is going to be looking really, really good for you. Now the left field uh, ballpark metrics that you can see right here aren't up to date. Because to my knowledge, these haven't been updated with the new. Obviously, we need a little bit of a sample size. And um, the left field fence is not quite as friendly as what this is saying now with the new ballpark in Canada Yard. So I just want to make that clear. But as far as right field is concerned, fantastic ballpark. We just kind of broke down all the statistics as far as uh, Grayson Rodriguez is concerned. And uh, the last thing that I would mention, his ERA has been terrible. Um, ERA isn't exactly the number one thing that I'm looking at when it comes to pitchers, but it's a nice little bonus for us to discuss here. He's got a 6.21 ERA. Um, so all these things obviously leading to a great spot for most notably the lefties. Like I said, um, really do like Nathaniel Lowe, really do like Corey Seager here. So those will be my first two picks that we're going to discuss on the video today because I do think they're two guys um, that you certainly do want to target uh, in your prize picks entries. So I um, just want to note that they do hit the top of the lineup here in the two and the three spot for Corey Seager and Nate Lowe. And uh, we just kind of discussed everything that makes me want to target them in this one. Grayson Rodriguez really been bad against lefties, giving up a lot of contact, a lot of hard contact, um, a lot of hard contact, a lot of contact in general. You know, the Woba and the ISO rates uh, for Grayson Rodriguez just haven't been good. And then uh, let's go ahead and pull up his entire numbers here for you guys just to round things out. 
um, for Grayson Rodriguez, just to give you kind of a final look here. Uh, his overall numbers, pull it up on the big screen here for you guys. And once again, not good, but just to give you a full um, recap here. Uh, he's rocking a 4.03 um, Sierra, as far as I lost him here now. Grayson, yeah, 4.03 Sierra. 5.33 um, XERA. Once again, he's got that 26% uh, K rate, but then 39% ground ball rate and a 41% hard contact rate. That's really, really bad. That's worse on the entire slate um, for Grayson Rodriguez. So he's given up a ton of hard contact um, across the board. All, of course, really, really good things for us to be targeting for our hitters tonight. So uh, pick number one, we will be going with Corey Seager in that two spot. And they are on the away side of things. So no matter the score, they'll get the guaranteed at-bats in the top of the ninth inning. Uh, Corey Seager has been playing great since returning. Hasn't hit the last three times out um, after having two big games. But I do expect that the pick right back up in this one. 7.5 hitter fantasy score, very friendly. We don't have a push number like an 8.0, for example. That always makes me a little bit more interested. Uh, so pick number one, we're going with the over 7.5 hitter fantasy score for Corey Seager. And then pick number two, we talked about it. Uh, Mr. Nathaniel Lowe, once again, a lefty that hits very well from the left-handed side of the plate in a fantastic matchup uh, for left-handed bats. So pick number two, going with the over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs for Nathaniel Lowe. That will be pick number two here. And then uh, pick number three, we're going to kick it on down to another game. The next game that I would like to discuss is going to be the... New York Mets taking on the Colorado Rockies. The Mets have the highest implied team total on the entire slate for good reason. They have a 6.83 implied run total. They're in course field, the best hitting environment in baseball, and they get to take on Connor Siebold. Uh, so let's go ahead and break down how that looks over here on the uh, premium research tab for you guys. Already broke that down once again for the VIP, so we'll just run by it as far as why I do like the play. And... Uh, Reasons. New York Mets have the highest implied team total with a 6.83 implied run total on the entire slate. They get to face Connor Siebold in the friendly confines of Coors Field. He features really bad numbers uh, against both sides, but we're going to be talking about Pete Alonso in this one because he's in that cleanup spot. 396 Woba versus righties, a 254 ISO uh, versus righties. So he has been very, very bad uh, versus right handed hitting. Honestly, the guy's just not good overall. But against righties, he is even worse than he is against lefties. That 396 Wobo with a 254 ISO. He's only got a 15.4% K rate, 9% walk rate. You can see the hard contact stuff is absolutely terrible. So against righties specifically, he's been very bad. Talked about that run total for the New York Mets. It leads the entire MLB slate at the very, very top. No surprise in course field. Great hitting environment. 6.83 projected runs. That's the top out of any team in the entire slate. And uh, we talked about that friendly... Ballpark in Coors Field this is the best hitting environment in baseball. It's been known as the best hitting environment in baseball for quite some time now due to the elevation, due to the ballpark dimensions. It has a, a huge outfield, uh, does Coors Field. So these are all, of course, really, really good things um, for us to be targeting in Coors Field. You can see the home runs, the triples, the doubles, the singles, all the above play very, very friendly to hitters. And uh, we are going to be talking about Mr. Pete Alonzo, who has fantastic numbers um, tons of power. The last thing that I would mention is the Colorado bullpen is bottom eight in the entire MLB and XFIP. That makes them a bottom eight bullpen, in my opinion. For those of you that don't know what XFIP means, um, you can see on the screen here, I believe, it's expected fielding independent pitching statistic that estimates pitchers expected run prevention independent of the performance of their defense. So it breaks down all the plays on outcomes that don't involve defense, strikeouts, walks, hit by pitches, fly balls allowed, all that stuff brings it all into a formula here. Um, in my opinion, XFIP is the best statistic to go by when you're analyzing bullpens. And uh, Colorado does have a bottom eight bullpen when it comes to XFIP, which makes them a bottom eight bullpen. They begin with a lot of hard contact, a lot of runs out of the bullpen. So not only is Connor Siebel the great matchup, but then uh, once we get past him, the New York Mets should be able to take advantage um, of this Colorado bullpen as well. So these are all, of course, very, very good things for us to be discussing, for us to be targeting. Um, for Mr. Pete Alonzo today, who's going to be the next topic of discussion. I will go ahead and pull that up here for you guys as far as where Pete's going to hit the lineup, um, all that fun stuff here. 
And uh, going to be really, really good stuff because he is in the four spot. The New York Mets have that massive 6.83 implied run total. And as far as Pete Alonso's numbers against righties uh, on the season, he's featuring a 260 ISO with a 332 Woba. So the guy absolutely rakes. We already knew that if you've been following baseball for quite some time. But uh, Pete Alonso, great spot. Massive total. Seabold struggles against righties. Um Really great hitting environment in course field, like I talked about, the, elevate, the added elevation. And uh, I do expect Pete Alonso to have a fantastic night at the dish tonight. And honestly, his hitter fantasy score, all things considered, is very friendly. Um, 8.5, I wouldn't be surprised to see this get bumped up to 9.0. I think there's a really solid chance Pete Alonso is able to go deep here tonight. If he doesn't go deep, doubles with runners on, all the above. Um, guy's just going to have a ton of opportunity. They're the away team, massive implied run total. I expect them to get a lot of at-bats. And that it is for all these reasons that I certainly do want to be targeting Pete Alonso tonight in this spot. For pick number three, we're going with the over 8.5 hitter fantasy score here for Pete Alonso. And that will be my three picks to get you winning some money over your on prize picks in the MLB tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does really help me out, and I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all MLB season long. If you haven't checked out Price Picks, you can check them out and get that instant match up to $100 today when you use the promo code KJKDFS. And if you have not checked the premium content packages, would highly recommend you check those out. Most notably, that VIP member package. We do have the WNBA going on now. We have NBA and MLB. You'll get access to every single one of those. Um, if you do want just one sport and one app, I do offer the lower tier packages. Uh, maybe you just play like prize picks, MLB, just pri um, underdog, MLB, et cetera. Uh, just keep in mind, you won't get my exact tickets. You won't get all those push alerts that I feature, all these other features. Uh, but you'll get access to every single one of the plays in my player pool, and you can uh, create your own tickets. So that is all for me in this one. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your prize picks, MLB player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.